Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to OLC TV for some more Total War Three Kingdoms Fates Divided DLC as Ma Tung. In the previous episode, we combined our two armies to besiege Jin Chung, and we were successful. Peng De in a starring role again with almost 300 kills. Um, we have now wiped out Han Sui. We have our next mission to destroy Chiang Mok and to take An Ding. Now, I don't have the money to take Anding in the time scale it suggests. I can do my best, um, but I just don't think I'll be able to collect the money in time. However, there's Jung Mong up here. Interesting. However, we definitely want this. Now, if Jung Mong can settle some of that land and I can take it from him, that would be magnificent. I don't know if he's going to do me that favor. We are in desperate need of replenishment. It is shocking. Um, have we re-established trade? No, we have not. <sighs> That's a shame. That's a proper shame. Uh, non-aggression pact. No, you're not going to pay enough for it. Port Vassal, independence, Li Shu. Um, will you pay me for this? Request regular payments. There's a good boy. That's going to be about 800 odd. Um, request payment. Let's do... Oh, we could probably end up with more money just doing this. Oh, that. Let's milk this for every penny. Because he's bloody miles away. I am i don't mind if I end up going to war with Don't bloody Sun Tzu. Um, okay. Awesome. That's a serious amount of money we're now getting in. That is absolutely fantastic. Does that mean we're in a position now to actually add some, some soldiers of quality to this force? Perhaps. Perhaps. We'll get some heavy spears in there, I think. All right, let's move on. I was umming and ahhing there for a second about whether or not to uh, create a third army. And I thought, I'm probably too low level to create a third army, number one. And number two, that would become outrageously expensive as soon as our exorbitant deal with Liu Zhang expires. So, I'm not going to do it. Uh, Li Shu has been liberated. And Wu Jing. Interesting. He's falling apart over there. And so he's gained a labor recruiter. Magnificent. Rebellion imminent in Jinchang. Um, and I don't need a labor recruiter anywhere. Here. Another trade agreement. Very, very useful. Peasantry, less useful. Uh... Trade influence, possibly. Pop growth. Useful. Um, no, no. 15% campaign movement range, though. My god, that would be good. 10% uh, replenishment. <sighs> do I need the trade now, or do I need the replenishment now? I need the replenishment now more than I need the trade. It's not often I say that. But I, I really do. I really rather do. These people hate me and hate everything about me. But that will not worry me because I will just rip their skulls apart. Plus 100%, 30% trading. Let's do that. You shift over here. Alright, they're looking good. Um... I'm not sure I can afford this cavalry. Can I 256? No, probably not. Little bit of a shame. But you can sit there and just replenish for a couple of turns uh, before we take a boat ride north. We're going to take a boat over here and then see if we can get up on this road, swing up to Wu Wei, to his capital, and smash him there. Uh... I can upgrade Sand Pass. Is there any mileage for me upgrading Sand Pass? There is. 10% increase. I think not. Uh, you, you do love to offer me this. I'm going to reject you, my friend. I'm going to reject you. 
Uh, Tosal, Hansui, Ma Tung all, of course, knew each other. I think uh, they had met in Luoyang uh, when Tosal was younger, at least. Um, and uh, he, he, he did know them personally, not just, you know, because of reputation. So I can foresee him coming to me and asking a nice question. Li Dian. I never get Li Dian when I'm Cao Cao. Ever. Not bloody once. And now they are offering me Li Dian when I have cock all money. And no position to give him. What level does he come in at? He comes in at rank 3. I have nothing to give him. But I'm going to get him anyway because he's Li Dian. Um, okay. Unwise decision. <laughs> very, very uh, unwise. But hey, we have Li Dian. That's good. You're going to shift here. You're going to uh, take a turn. And then we will move you around. These guys, we're going to let, we're going to let get angry. Actually, we're going to let them get angry. I think that's all we can really do. Now. Um... You keep coming at me with that as well, but cooperation is not is 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 not really cooperating. It's basically vassalage. So do one. Lubiao does not have the might to threaten me as well up here. If I was Zhang Lu, it would be a potential thing. Sparring partners. When taking a walk one afternoon, you come across two comrades sparring in a courtyard. You watch their fight with great interest. It is as it is as a dance. They move and flow around each other with strength and grace. You leave the encounter feeling truly energized. Chong Chong. He's been defeated. Zhao Ang. No, don't want any of them. Okay. Jin Chong. We've got some spare money. Yep. Uh, advance. We are going to take this. Um... How, how are you chaps feeling? You still need a few more turns before you're feeling truly, you know, excited. Now that we have that, that's, that's out of my price range for now. This is entirely doable. So we shall do it and we shall move on. This is very small picture stuff we're doing here. We're just focusing really on our land. There's no big picture here. We're not big enough. We are... That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. I'll take that. Like I said, we're not worrying about big picture politics. That could upset Zhang Lu. But I've got a... Hope that our agreement's going to keep everything together. Okay, that's done. You shift ass. Settle. There we go. Have some of that. He's up in Shuofeng. Should be able to take that. That will help. Some nice little salt mine there. You boys. Oh, yes. This replenishment is godly. Um, How are you doing? We'll leave you for one more turn. Then I'll remove your face. I think that's a good deal. Hmm. All right. Just having a look down here, it looks like Jungle hasn't made any ground up at all. So we're safe. We're safe enough. He has to pass through an army to get to us. Apart from a sand pass, but I reckon sand pass can hold unless he has like masses. Jung Mi. Jung Mi is up here too, is he not? Ah, here we go. Another daughter, Ma Bao Li. Fantastic. And you are fully replenished too. Well, you can shift up here. Let's have a, a look at what he has. He has a dog shit army. And that is something we can work with. Saving coin as well. How are you doing? Oh, you're, you're starting to suffer, are you? Um. Yeah, we can do one more turn. We can do one more turn. I'm in no hurry. I'm in absolutely no hurry. Just get it to zero. Just so we've got a hundred working with as soon as the army leaves. Um, I can't wait for it to get up to, to 100 and therefore give us like a 200 thing before it rebels. But a uh, hundred will do. A hundred will do. 
once we smash that force uh, okay they're at war magnificent it's vassalized Zhang Lu okay that means peace that means peace everything is good there Zhang Mi is declaring war on people he, he, he enjoys to declare war on cunning versus sincere as you share a meal with a close advisor, he puts it to you that sincerity in all things is to be ardently pursued. You counter that knowledge is power, and like an army, can be deployed strategically. You continue postulating long into the evening. I am going to go with uh, Cunning to get a better thing with Chiang Kai. Now we have that sorted. Now we're in a position where we can say that we can get ourselves more trade. Um, unfortunately, we have no one else we can trade with, but that'll sort itself out eventually. Now, Li Dian is upset. Rightfully so. I am going to pay him as a patrol commander because I have the coin to do so. Here, you have a crap army. This garrison is also crap. My army is also crap. Problems. So, that being the case, let's get ourselves, get ourselves two of these in that force just to prepare. Here, go smash. They're now getting angry. Finish them. Yep, <clears throat> that'll do. And what do you have? Oh, a foreman. I can do with that. Um, we're going to take the money. We don't need the replenishment deal anymore. They're going to run like stink. We're going to go back in. We're going to kill them. There we go. He's going to use a spear in a way no one ever envisioned a spear being used. And we will take... Ah, oh, shit, I meant the money. But hey, Silver's getting a foreman. So... This this foreman does industry. I don't think Wudu has any industry. Eight pop though, that might not be a bad shout. What do you make? Do you make good industry? I was wrong. Go nuts, my friend. Go nuts. Um. Okay. So that's them sorted. You are now going to shift up here ever so slightly. And then you're going to cross, and we're going to deal with uh, him. I think. I'm guessing he has the entirety of Wu Wei. Um, yeah, but we'll deal with him. That won't be a problem. You're going to take a couple of turns for you to sort yourself out. I wonder, if you were to go into ambush stance, would that attract this fool to attack us? Then once we've taken that, we can actually head up here to Da Chang and take out the animal tamer, which would give us huge benefits. Uh, we do not need to spend that money yet. How is this working? We are beloved of the Emperor, surely. Um, Zhang Meng is not. Right. Okay. Is he going to advance? We want him to advance so we can fight him without his garrison. I think I can still beat him with his garrison there, but yeah. My my generals in that army are less reliable. He's moved. He's gonna be ambushed. We have this. Let's do it. <clears throat> this is what we want. He has so many archers. We have enough melee to to really hurt him here. I think he has better cavalry than me. That's the issue, but he just has so many archers. Um, unfortunately, I don't really have anti-cav to speak of. But... I'm pretty certain Ma Tie should be able to deal with one of those units by himself. And probably Hua Lanli deal with another. If I can get my axes in amongst their melee troops, then all will be well. Ah! Okay. So, let's do it like this. You're going to be here. You're going to be here. Rush them. 
you lads. Yeah, you can be there. I want the axes and the axes there. You're going to hold back up here. You cav types here. You cav types here. You gentlemen are going to be there. Archer and archer there. And then archer and archer sort of here. That'll do. Uh, that, 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 and that. Okay. Go. 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 In. In. Charge. Charge. Rain arrows on them. You two, rain arrows on them. You kill. Kill, 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 kill. Hunt them down. Let's have a roar. Let's have one of those. How are we doing? We're doing good. Right, you two. Focus them down. Okay, they're being hunted. That's what we need. Hunt them, hunt them, hunt them. They need to die. You, in there. You, in there. And then you and you this way. Yeah, you're going to chase them, though. You are definitely going to chase them. You two, shoot. You two, shoot. Good boys. You, come down this way. Break them. They've done. Right, you chase them. You boys, over here. Finish them off. Make sure they don't come back. All right, lads. All of you on that small unit. Wipe them. Wiped. Good job. Let's... Let's leave it at that, actually, frankly. Nothing else to do. Finally, how are they? No, you still need to chase. Fair enough. Right, fight going on there. Right, they're done. Um, well, help them out. Help them out. Oh, wait, stop moving me away. I want to go there with the fight. Thank you. You, hunt. You, over here. Um, you two, shoot you over here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Cav. Um, yeah, over here too. Go on. You lot. Over here too. Right, you... You boys can hunt him. You... Finish him off. Lads, here, you can actually... Dunk. All the way in. You boys, take a position there. Right. You're going to need to smash them out of the field. You're going to be needed to smash them too. They're being chased. You, Laz, can come over here. And you can chase them. Nah, you can chase them. That'll do. These lads are going to come in here, and that should be end game. Those axes are chasing them. I wouldn't disengage from that, but hey. Up to you. There we go. That should be all of them. Absolutely destroyed. Kill, 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 kill. Please, gentlemen, kill away. Uh, not super fast if we don't bring him down, but uh, definitely try. You boys, there's a big club there that need to be smashed. You guys, come down here. You, come over here. Hunt them down. Kill as many as you can, because should they flee... Oh, that was a great job. We want to be able to take Shuofang really, really easily. No, I think we absolutely smashed them. Fugan with a lion share of the kill. Look at that, the, the, the cavalry against archers it was always gonna be a butcher's toll it's militia against militia i you know but still the cavalry is king doesn't matter how many times they try and nerf cavalry to maintain a level of realism cavalry needs to be king in this game done 349 away we barely lost anyone barely Axes did a great job as well. I'd say actually everybody, everybody did good. I mean, even these guys, they're almost killing uh, one each. You know, that's, that's not bad. Nice. 
General is dead as well. That's 169. I will take no replenishment. I'm going to take the cash. Uh, hey, you want to pay me for that? No problem. Do it, man. Do it. Okay. Pretty pleased with that turn. Friend in need. A general regales a recent battle. In particular, he mentions a mutual friend of yours who, seeing another in a dire situation, leaps to his defense. His blade, it is said, appears to be moved by heaven itself, finding its mark, felling the foe and saving the friend. His courage is commendable. Well, that could be any number of the siege battles he has taken part in. Uh, I think we can afford to up that. You are going along the river and... I reckon it's a tiny bit of a risk, but get up there so that we can start to attack Wu Wei straight away. And so he's gained flying swallow, character development, Dong Shang, no, we don't want him. All right. Uh, we now advance. Number one. We smash Zhao Yi. Decisive. Nicely done, Fugan. He's dead too. That's fine. Uh, we shan't need the replenishment. Because we are now going to take the town. Which should be a steamroll affair. And occupy. Power increases. News of your great deeds has spread far and wide. With your warriors shouting your name and your banners flying across the lands. Your legacy is writ upon China. Should you wish it, you may now ascend to even greater levels of power. Increasing your progression level from the faction summary screen allows you to increase your capacities and a lot more diplomatic yada yada yada. We'll get to that in a second. General of the Standard. Okay, so let us become a second marquee. Um, I would like... An administrator. I. I am less fussed about that. Armies is fine. Trade agreements definitely. Spies no. Go on. Let's do that. Let's do that. There we go. Second marquee. Done. Come marquee. Okay. Whew. That's a chunk that we can add to that. Anyway, we have stuff to do here. Yi Dian, you are a master. Jin Chong, it's commerce, silk. You can be the administrator of Jin Chong. Grand Commandant will be Ma Xiu. So he stops his bitching. Grand Excellency will be Tian Kai. Go. There we go. Assignments. Um. Not really needed for either of you, frankly. Tian Kai, you can do this. Very nice. Um. Yeah. Not really needed for either of you. This we're going to up though. And we shall advance. I should have looked at trade. I should have looked at trade. Damn it. Let's see if there's someone new we can trade with. Anyway. Now that everyone's at peace, there is potential. Ah, Zhang Lu, you've taken and ding. Eh. So. This toolmaker is probably a necessity. Belly and imminent in Wu Du. Okay, I can live with that. You will advance to Xiu Tu and get ready to take that territory. Um. 
that should be without much effort as well. Still no more trade, not aggression with Liu Biao though. Liu Biao, will you pay me for this? Will you pay me for it? You will. What I like to hear. Oh, you're going to pay me well. Oh, you're going to pay me so well. Oh, that's magnificent. I like this. I like this a lot. We're making money. I'm not going to fog that, though. Zhang Xiu, we could support you. We could get lots of money from Zhang Xiu's independence. Zhang Xiu. <laughs> Save that for a time where we need the cash. Um, Shabiano. We're going to raise an army under our boy here, Ma Xiu. Um, Ma Xiu, you're going to sit in here. And I think we are going to give you... Uh, yeah, two lots of those as well. Sit there. Hold tight. Deal with the problem when it arrives. Okay, we need to save a little bit of cash because we need to claim that ground. Let's move on. BDN and Jinchong is going to be good for coin. And it's going to keep him happy. Um, he actually can fight. He was a brilliant uh, commander. Died too young, unfortunately. Brilliant commander. Uh, great foresight with how battles would play out. Charles declared war on Wu Jing. That was over quickly. <laughs> um, that was over very quickly. Mountain is energetic assignments recalled. All right, so we need to sort out that assignment. You're going to go straight in here and take this ground if you don't mind. Decisive victory. It's ours. I just want to get this northwest cleared of any threats. And then we will start to pick our next target, who I think is probably... If things remain the same, it's going to be Zhang Lu, because he's the weakest. Um, we'll see. Following the town's capture, you are asked what should be done with the imprisoned men of the town's former garrison. They appear to be competent soldiers who might prove useful if enlisted, but many harbour loyalties to their previous warlord and display a reluctance to serve you. Well, we could bribe them, which will do the garrison, we increase that, or we could release them. I think we'll release them. We have public order issues elsewhere. Uh, matched Jen, eh? You're not legendary anyway. Um, go on, Tian Kai. Give it to you. Because you don't actually need it. Alright. Done. You rush over here. Wei... Uh, we can upgrade that. That'll do nicely. That force here. What's it looking like? Is it looking particularly dog shit? Do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. That's what you're there for. Smash these guys before they become a threat. Normally, we want to wait to solve stuff, given our situation, but we can't. I need you to take the... Ah, oh, no. Uh, yeah, you are still alive. Good. Finish them. Capture the fool so we can execute him and take his toys. Good. Nothing of value. Bugger you, then. Um, nice job. Back home. Bo. Here. Have a bow made by a blind child. Um, all right. Nothing else really to do, it seems. We will head on. Take this territory here. And then that should hopefully re-establish trade. Um, we will need Gaonu as well. I do want to head up to get that territory in Shuofeng. Okay, so Tienkai, you need no peasantry to speak of in any of these places. Fine. We're going to take this, establish the order, 
That is so much money down the toilet. Uh, so much money. You're going to head off this way. You need... No, none of you need anything. So you just continue and go further and faster. This town has a crap garrison. Jiang Mong has a crap army. That works quite nicely. You boys are no longer needed, so we can recall you. That's going to save our money. All right. That should be good. You. Hm. We're all good. You're a vassal of Liu Biao now. Magnificent. Hopefully, this is actually going to work wonders for our trade because that I don't think it does re-establish it but anyway it was worth a try um so ladies and gentlemen I think I'm gonna leave it there for today we have got Zhang Meng on the run we'll take Gu Zhang and then we'll hang back this way to uh Ling Zhou just to finish him off um Fu Gan can, if we get enough coin, push somewhere else to, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, to, to settle more territory. But if he's a vassal and he's my best buddy, that sort of limits our options, does it not? So do we want to be picking a fight with Cao Cao right now? Maybe not, but maybe something will happen before it gets to that stage. Certainly we're friendlier with Tsao Tsao than we are with Yuan Shao. Would we head over this way? Don't know how much he likes us. Could we head over this way through the northern mountainous regions? Come through here and see if we can claim some land. Potentially, we need to do a deal with Cao Cao, I think. Depends how well he's beating on Gao Gan here. Hmm. Anyway, that is for a future situation. Here, no, all is well. Don't need to worry at all. Faction Council, Tian Kai and Ma Xiu are now in position, so we can get some Faction Councils from them in the next turn, I believe. Our armies are victorious. We can raise a third army, which means that we can just shove mass Xiu into situations wherever we have rebellion, because we are going to have people pissed off with us for a while. Uh, but we will solve that. We will solve that in time. Our economy is showing signs of life. And all is good in the Northwest. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.